good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video i'm not gonna lie to you guys it is a couple of days later than from my last video if you stuck around for the entirety of that vlog oh my word i just want to say a massive thank you if you watch my like coming into london river island event princess polly hall vlog oh my word if you sat through the entire what was it in the end like 50 minutes then hats off to you I owe you big time, I owe you a big drink because that was a really, really long video. I was not expecting it to get that long. So <laughs> thank you if you did manage to sit through the entire thing. I really, really appreciate it. I know I'm such a rambler. So I'm really gonna make an effort to keep this vlog a little bit shorter for you guys so that it's not like, you know, coming close to an hour long. I honestly looked at the footage when I had to edit it. I was like, oh mama, like I feel like I probably should have split the vlog into two, but oh well. Here we are. <laughs> you guys know I'm a bit of a rambler. So yeah, I will really, really try to keep this vlog a little bit shorter, but I'm not gonna lie. I crashed and burned after that um, London day. I had a day on the sofa yesterday. It was an admin day, but a day on the sofa because I just couldn't face putting on makeup, like getting in front of the camera. I just couldn't, I couldn't face it because I was just so tired. I just needed a full day to like recoup after that. Um, and especially like, I feel like my social cup was like empty you know what i mean like what's it called when it's like your social radar i can't remember what people call it um it was literally just empty because there was like so many lovely people there i was chatting all day i was in london i honestly look back and i'm like how did i used to do it? i used to be in london for like meetings events shoots like three sometimes four times a week and i look back and i'm like how did i used to do, the, do that it's just so exhausting now like i feel like the pandemic has really lowered my tolerance for like being out of my house, socializing, seeing people. Um, it was like a really, really lovely time and such a nice event and such a nice opportunity to like see everyone. So I did really enjoy it. It was definitely worth the admin day yesterday and the like exhaustion from it. It was just so funny how I'm like, I don't know how, how I used to do this so often and it wouldn't even be a big deal. But I know I promised you that I would show you the pieces that I picked up from the event. So I thought we could do a little River Island unboxing haul of some of the new end bits that I've picked up. I'm hoping all of them are gonna be online at this point. If not, I will keep an eye out on the River Island website and then I will link it as soon as it is online. But I will also just link below down to River Island's new in section so that you can go and check it out yourself. So many gorgeous new autumn winter pieces in, I can't even deal. I'm wearing the this outfit again, which I know I wore fairly recently in a um, vlog and I got loads and loads of questions about it. I'm really sorry, I realized I linked the wrong thing down below. Sometimes I just, there's a lot of linkage going on. So if I get it wrong, then I am really, really sorry. Um, but it's both from River Island actually. I need to go and get these trousers altered because at the moment I'm just wearing them and I don't really care because I'm in the house. But I am gonna go and take them to the tailors because I just want them to fit me in length and not be like, you know, huge at the bottom. I think they'll be absolutely perfect once I've had them tailored. I talk about this a lot, but like I am never against tailoring. I'm never against going to a seamstress and getting it like perfectly fit for you especially when it's something that's like a bit more of an investment piece like these weren't the cheapest trousers in the world but i think they're going to be the kind of trousers that will last me so so long like i have my other black river island trousers i had them last year i'm still wearing them this year they're absolutely perfect um so i really do like these i just think i need to get them tailored to the perfect length they fit perfectly actually around like the waist and stuff like there's no gaping which i always really struggle with um and they fit nicely around the bum so that's a bonus i just need to get them to fit perfectly in length basically um and then i'm wearing this little roll neck which i love it's so perfect for this time of year when you want to feel like a little bit of aut autumnal but you're not ready for full on like jumpers. Like it's still a little bit warm at the moment. So yeah, absolutely loving this outfit. It's just such a vibe, such a vibe. And us? Dos. So <laughs> we have two rather big, rather heavy bags full of autumn winter goodness. So let's jump straight into them. I'm gonna start with this one here at the front because I feel like this has some really, really cute pieces in. Okay, I'm gonna start with something that I basically copied off Holly. Uh, she picked it up and I was like, oh my God, I love it. I'm getting it too, I'm copying you. Um, <laughs> and it is this amazing leather blazer dress. It is 
stunning now i've been one that's like i'm a bit hit or miss when it comes to leather blazers i did have one last year i didn't wear it all that much so i decided to sell it but actually this year i'm kind of like i'm looking at a lot of leather blazers styling and i'm like oh i do quite like it and i just really liked the fact that this was more of like a dress so it's got this like belt detail on it which i thought was really really cool so that you can wear it cinched in you can wear it with trousers you can wear it like open and really like loose and baggy or you can wear it like a skirt or you could literally if you're feeling brave, just put on like tights and wear it as a dress. I thought that was a really, really cool styling. So I picked this up in a 12 because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized just to make sure that it did fit really, really well as a dress. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. I feel like leather is really come back again. I know that when I did my planning my autumn wardrobe video i was kind of questioning about my leather trousers and i am still questioning about my leather trousers whether i want to keep them whether i really like them i think i probably will when we get into like the really cool months like in winter but for now they're they're still staying in storage but if you are wanting to kind of dabble in the leather trend i think like a leather blazer a leather jacket a leather like blazer dress is the perfect thing to jump into that trend and like kind of make it a bit more accessible for you and still very very wearable for now so i absolutely love this i think it's so cool how gorgeous is this blazer so as i said you can wear it as like a blazer dress or you can wear it like with trousers i probably wouldn't style it up with such loose trousers i was going to put a skirt on to show you it but to be perfectly honest i've still got the strapping on my knee it's not a vibe it's kind of difficult for you to see what the clothes look like so it's a rather distracting so i thought i'll just put it on with what i'm wearing because it actually kind of goes like the trousers are probably a little bit bigger than what I would wear with this but I kind of like the vibe of it I love the roll neck underneath I think it looks really really cool and I just love how like tight you can pull in your waist or if you wanted to you can always just wear it like open take the belt off and wear it it's like a really loose oversized blazer so I really like it I quite like that even though it's quite loose and oversized it's still quite fitted around like my shoulders and my arms so I don't feel like it's swamping me I feel like it's quite flattering so I really like that about this I think this is a great addition and I think for me this is a much more wearable leather blazer than maybe some of the other ones that I've seen or tried before I think this is very very cute and the kind of thing that can take me throughout autumn and into winter and then next up in the bag of goodness we have a pair of shoes now can we just take a moment to appreciate these I'm in love i'm absolutely in love they are a pair of the most stunning loafers that i've ever seen in my life now i've never been much of like a loafer kind of girl but this year i've been absolutely adoring them i feel like loafers are just everywhere right now obviously everyone's going mad for the prada loafers and i do absolutely adore them but you know what i always say about when it comes to like dabbling in something new and just don't jump straight into the designer version like I always like to kind of dabble in the high street version first see how much wear out of, I get out of it like see how much kind of like styling I get you know I love it talking about cross pair wear and then if I do really really love the high street version I wear them a lot then I will usually put my hand into the designer version and be like okay I think it's worth the investment because I know I'm going to wear these so I love 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 them they're very Vuitton inspired with the kind of like monogramming the big river island buckle I love how well River Island does kind of like designer. I'm not gonna say designer dupes because they're not actually dupes. A lot of the time they just look designer. The amount of times I've worn River stuff, people will be like, oh my God, is that Balmain? Oh my God, is that Louis Vuitton? Oh my God, is that blah, 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 blah. Like, and I'm always like, no, River Island people always get so shocked. So I thought these would look so cool. I'd start up with my Louis or even kind of like matching my river bag i think that would look really really cool it's very like um old money aesthetic i posted a photo the other day in like a polo ralph Lauren jumper and someone literally commented like this is the most old money aesthetic i've ever seen and i'm obsessed i'm like you know what? i actually kind of really like that aesthetic i think it looks really really cool um so yeah really excited about those i picked them up in a four i'm like between a three and a four and like a, a three and a half so i usually like to go up just because i'd rather them be a little bit roomy than too tight and then also when it comes to like autumn winter styling i can style these up with like thicker socks and stuff to make sure they stay on my feet i've literally just sat down so that you can see the loafers properly because um the trousers are just so long that you aren't going to see them but oh my word i'm absolutely obsessed and they look so so cool like look at that 
I'm absolutely in love with the monogramming. One thing I will just say is actually I'm really glad that I got them in a four and not a three because they're not tight, but they're not as loose as I thought they were going to be considering that they are like technically half a size big for me. So maybe just something to note that they're definitely worth sizing up in if you are looking to get these. Um, they're super comfy though. I think they'll be manageable without socks, but I do think they'll probably be a bit comfier with socks on, but I just adore this monogram print. I think it looks so nice and the River Island buckle makes them look so much more expensive than they are. So very very excited about those i think they are such a great little autumn winter addition into my shoe wardrobe i don't often wear non-boots in autumn winter but i think these are a great transitional item because obviously if you're not wanting to wear boots if it's not like cold enough but if you are wanting to wear something a little bit more like autumn winter appropriate i think these are absolutely fab so very glad i picked this up and then the last thing in bag number one is the most stunning coat. Now you would have seen this in the vlog that I picked this up as I was like looking around and oh my word, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Now I picked this up in a small, I believe. Oh no, extra small. This is very, very oversized, just to warn you, like you can see it there. But you know, I've spoken a lot about lots of trends that have been coming in in autumn, winter, and this coat ticks two trends. Number one, the green trend. Green is so in this year, and I really wasn't on board the green trend when it came to summer. Like, it, I just don't think green is a summer colour for me. It doesn't go well with my skin tone. The kind of greens that I was seeing in summer were a lot, like, brighter, more like neon greens, very, like, bright greens, where I'm, I'm much more of, like, a khaki, forest green kind of girl. So I'm definitely on board with the trend now. Like, now that we've come back into winter, I'm like, yes, I can jump on that green trend. So not only is it green, but it's also quilted, which is just so in right now. I just thought this was such a nice coat. Like, if it's going to be really... Really, really chilly you want to just stay really nice and warm i feel like this is going to be a really lovely like practical coat while still looking stylish that's one of my favorite things when it comes to that kind of dressing when you look stylish but you're still really practical and cozy i think this coat is exactly that like can you imagine this for like dog walks or like hikes or even just like a weekend walk down to like the pub or something i think this is so nice such a gorgeous autumn winter coat I'm gonna have to be quick with this one because I'm already hot in this, but look at how gorgeous this coat is. Now you see what I mean when I say it's oversized. This is an extra small. I've gone down two sizes and it's still huge on me, like absolutely huge, but in like the best possible way. I absolutely love it. I literally feel like I'm wearing a duvet. It's really lightweight actually, considering like how warm and thick it is. Like it's really super lightweight, which I really, really like. So it's a comfortable coat to wear. And I think this would just be such a great like dog walking coat, walks at the weekend, kind of casual vibes coat. Obviously I would not wear it with this. I'd probably start with maybe like black leggings and a black jumper underneath. I think it would look really cool because I think you need tight on the bottom if you're gonna wear something so loose and baggy on the top. Um, um, but I love the little like pocket detail and the silver kind of like button detail going down. I think that's a really cute look. And I love the fact that it's kind of got this cool like half collar but not a full collar. I think it's quite nice because it means that if you want to you can layer roll necks underneath scarves. But it's not too much around here. So I think this is such a great coat for autumn winter. Okay, and on to bag number two. Um, now there is something at the top of this bag that I'm just going to like scoot past because... I'm going to save it till last, and if you want to see the best item from this haul, then you've got to watch it to the end. So, I've got a couple of pieces here. Now, as you may be able to tell, I'm a really big fan of this top. I have been wearing it quite a lot already, and I love how, like, perfect it is for autumn. Now, they also did this top in a really gorgeous, like, mauvey brown colour, and I just thought that was so, so cool. So I wanted to add this into my wardrobe so that I can, like, mix and match. I can style them up differently. You guys know how much I'm loving, like, browns and neutrals this year. I feel like it's just so me when it comes to autumn winter. It's so funny. Like, you can so tell how much my style changes in autumn winter because I'm just all about the neutrals. Like, everything neutral. Maybe a tiny pop of colour here and there, like, a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, maybe a little bit of pink from here every now and then. But I just love, love, love my neutrals in autumn winter. So I thought this was it's just so so nice a really lovely like basic i really do love river island for their basics i think they do such great basics when it comes to autumn winter great layers great roll necks great jumpers i definitely recommend checking out their like knitwear i'll link that down below as well if you did want to shop their knitwear because they just have such amazing basic items that i have some pieces in my wardrobe from river island from about four years ago that are still doing me well today so really glad that i've added that into my wardrobe as well and that i'm a little Oh, mix and match. <laughs> I mean, I already knew I was going to love this, but now that I have it on, I love it even more. I actually love it with these trousers. I think the colour combo just works so well together. The very, like, mauvey brown and then the, like, beigey tones. I think it looks absolutely 
gorgeous and when I said in the last river island haul that I did when I picked up the white one what I love about this is the fact that it's kind of got like a mock turtleneck on us shorter girls I do find that sometimes turtlenecks can be a bit much they can be a bit overwhelming obviously we don't have like the longest necks in the world so I like having a mock turtleneck because it still kind of gives me that little bit of coverage a little bit of autumn vibes but it's not too overwhelming and especially now when it's still you know it's fairly mild like it's not that chilly it's still just a really really nice like layering piece so I think this is such a gorgeous color I'm so glad that I've added it into my wardrobe because it just looks absolutely stunning and as I was saying about basics another basic that I picked up is this stunning brown jumper now, I don't know if the color is really coming up on camera it's kind of coming up black but it's this really gorgeous like really dark chocolatey brown oh there we go that's a bit more kind of like the real colour. Really stunning like chocolatey brown colour. As I said I'm loving browns and beiges and I just think I need more brown in my wardrobe. I have a black roll neck, I've got a white roll neck. I was missing another colour and I just thought this is so so gorgeous. You guys know I'm loving doing like a bit more colour clashing and colour blocking and I just think this would look so cool if I was to do like an all neutral outfit and then maybe just add like a pop of pink maybe the little Loewe bag I think would look really really cool just a little bit of like a colour clash going on I just thought that was so nice such a great again basic to add into my wardrobe and the kind of item that you just can't live without in autumn winter it's so frustrating that it's coming up like black on camera because it's just it's not quite black it's this really gorgeous dark chocolate brown color it's so frustrating that you can't quite see the kind of like details of it but I really think this kind of like chocolate brown is just the color of the season for me I'm absolutely loving it it's so so flattering and like a really nice not as harsh color as black but great for autumn winter because it still looks really like you know autumnal cute and cozy I absolutely adore it it's got much more of like a rolled neck so what I've just done is I've like folded it over um just to give myself a bit more room I do really like it I definitely think this is a lot more kind of like autumn winter because it's definitely a lot thicker obviously we've got the longer sleeves we've got the higher rolled up neck so it's much more kind of when the weather gets a bit colder but I think this would be a great layering piece as well if you're like me and you get really chilly and you need lots of layers I think this is a great like under piece you can chuck on a big thick jumper over the top and I love the look of like the roll neck underneath the jumper I think it looks so cool so I'm such a fan of this again I love it paired with these trousers as well these trousers go so well with everything I really need to go get these altered because I just want to wear them all the time so yeah big big fan of this jumper are you ready for my favorite item from this haul now if you watch that vlog you would have seen I was trying on a coat in the changing rooms and I just fell in love with it and I was literally like, I can't leave without this coat. How stunning is this? I'm in love, I'm absolutely in love. Do you know what? Coming into autumn winter has really just reminded me how much I love coats. I have a huge coat collection, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But I just, I love them. I absolutely love them. So it's this stunning forest green colour. Again, it's kind of, kind of coming up a little bit more blue on camera, which is a bit annoying. It's not quite coming up true, like a true colour match. Um, but it's basically this stunning like forest green and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got this black lining, which I think is so, so classic. And it's this really big, thick wool coat now i picked this up in a size eight because it is very oversized and i didn't want it to be oversized i think with this color i wanted it to be a bit more kind of like classic and tighter fitted and it is really really thick so i can still fit like a jumper underneath this and something if i needed to um but i didn't want it to be like really huge and oversized more like a um uh, like dressing gown coat. I know that dressing gown coats are so in this year. I really loved that boucle one that Holly picked up, the black and white one. She did take that home with her. I loved how that looked, but I just thought with this coat, that wasn't the vibe that I wanted to go for. I wanted it to be a bit more tighter fitted and a little bit kind of like more structured because it is quite a structured, like formal coat. So I think this would be so, so nice if you're looking to update your workwear, wardrobe, if you're like going to meetings. For me, this is going to be such a perfect, like in London meetings coat when the weather is freezing. I know it's a little bit, little bit soon to be picking up like big thick coats like this but they will sell out quickly so if you're wanting to pick this up I definitely recommend it picking up now I'm really hoping that it's on their website right now so that you guys can shop it if not I will just link to their coats section down below so you can have a look at all of their new in autumn winter coats because they have so many gorgeous pieces but I am literally in love I could just stare at this all day it's just so perfect hello oh my word I'm a little bit obsessed it's coming up a little bit truer in colour now than it was when I was holding it up for the cutaway, um, but I still don't think it's quite as vibrant 
in the camera than it is in real life. It's this just stunning, vibrant forest green and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's so so pretty so as i said i sized down to a size eight and i'm really glad that i did because i think it just looks so like classy and so elegant i think if you want to go for the oversized fit that would look really nice but i just think being a shorter girl obviously please excuse just how long these trousers are for me um but being a shorter girl i think it would just it suits better i love the fact that the sleeves are cuffed because it means that they don't go over my hands as much and they kind of balloon up a little bit which i find very very flattering and i love the kind of single breasted look to it i think it's just so cool and you can like tie it up and have it done up really nicely i mean is this not just the most stunning like office coat you've ever seen really smart really you know power suit kind of a coat i'm so so obsessed with it i i can't wait till the weather starts to get a bit colder so I can wear this. I just wanted to quickly show you guys this before I take it off because I always get loads of questions from you guys about how I stop getting makeup on my roll necks. So like, especially for me, obviously I'm taking outfits on and off, um, you know, doing try-ons or even if you've just put your makeup on before you've like chosen your outfit for the day and you want to put a roll neck on after you've put your makeup on. A kitchen towel, basically as you put it through your neck, put the kitchen towel over the neck piercing. Piercing? Neck piercing? The neck hole? And then basically put the towel like against your face as you put it on. And then you'll end up with a little bit of makeup. Can you see that there? On the towel, like it goes a little bit orange. But it means that you don't get any makeup on the roll neck and it stays nice and clean. I actually did a recent haul. It was in my um, collective, like, what's new, my wardrobe haul. And I didn't do it. And I put on the misguided roll neck. And as soon as I did that, I saw makeup all over us. Oh, for goodness sake, I need to... I need to be a bit more disciplined. All I had to do was like, it would just take me two seconds to go and get some kitchen towel. Um, so we definitely recommend that. And then I kind of just keep the same kitchen towel. Like it sounds a bit gross, but obviously I can just reuse it each time. Um, as long as I use the same side on my face and the same side on my top and don't like swap it over. Um, I can just use the same towel. So I'll literally just fold up the towel and put it in my drawer. And then every time I need to like take on and off a roll neck, I'll take that back out and use it. And it's just the best best method at stopping getting makeup all over your ronics because there's nothing worse i've just realized that my necklace is now tucked in there is literally nothing worse than having like an orange covered roll neck when you just like all you were doing was putting it over your head so best technique to keep them clean so it's a little while later now and i have just had a pr parcel arrived that was about to start unboxing and then i was like wait save it for the vlog let's unbox it together so this just arrived on my doorstep um, from the brand Juliet Has A Gun and they have some really, really gorgeous perfumes. So there's a little note here. It says Ellie, which is so cute. Oh my God, it's actually like stamped. That is actually so cool. I feel so bougie. Oh my God, I feel bad opening it. Dearest Ellie, rumor has it that Juliet, Queen of the Parisian, writes hides a secret. Lily Fantasy, an intriguing bouquet of white flowers and ambery notes, twisted with bubble gum, an addictive intox intoxicating scent. I couldn't help but think of you. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Yours truly. Oh, that's so sweet. I really like the sound of this. Amber, flowers and bubble gum. That sounds like a kind of sweet take on like a very autumnal, like autumnal note. So we've got some like writing notes here with a genuine quill pen and a pot of black ink. I'm definitely not qualified to do calligraphy, but if I was, I would be so up for this. And then, oh my word, how stunning is that fragrance? Look at that. I feel like I'm just going to have to, I need to spritz this. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. That's like a really rich, really nice scent. But it's not too rich, it is. I can, I can kind of smell the amber, but then you suddenly get that like hint of like a floral scent. So it doesn't smell too, oh, that is just absolutely gorgeous. And we've also got in here, what is this? Oh my God, it's a little robe. It says, too fab to give a damn. How cool is that? I absolutely love that. That is so sweet, a little satin robe. And then we also have, I think this is a little fan. Yeah, if I open this up. I love that, that is so, so sweet. And then I think this is another 
box of the perfume here unopened so that's lovely we have what on earth is this it's like been like i literally almost don't want to undo the bow because it's just so pretty oh this is the writing so like I, i'm guessing this is to help you practice how cute is that this is to help you practice your calligraphy it's, it says too fab to give a damn and then it's kind of got like a trace for you to follow i love that and then we also have oh my gosh i'm making a bit of a mess here i think this is just kind of like a um the press release for it the most important thing darling is to live a fabulous life freddie mercury a word from the creator oh wow this is so so lovely enter the dance it does do you know what i think it is almost kind of like a ballet dancer scent that's the only way i can describe it like i definitely kind of want to just like get on some ballet shoes because that is such a lovely lovely scent oh that is so nice what a lovely lovely pr pass honestly i feel so spoiled with that i was not expecting that to come today so i have to send a little message to thank the girls because that is just the sweetest thing and that scent is absolutely incredible so so gorgeous i'm in love with it i really hope you guys enjoyed this haul and enjoyed seeing some of the new and autumn winter pieces from river island it was honestly just so much fun going into the showroom the other day and seeing all of the new and pieces obviously as i said these were very kind pr pieces from the team that they sent us away with which was very sweet of them if ever like you're wondering in terms of like videos and stuff i always in the description box below would like literally over declare everything in terms of like what's pr and stuff like that um so if ever you want to like check the description box just for links and stuff or just you know understand because i i know that sometimes people can get a bit funny about pr pieces but what i think people don't understand is that i never show you anything well either that i don't choose or that i don't like or even if i don't like it i'm really honest like i've sometimes had you know hauls where like some of the pieces have been on pr and i'd be honest and be like no i don't like this this is going back like this isn't my vibe this is too big um so i'm always like completely upfront and honest with you guys and i had just someone recently message being like i just think they don't quite understand the job and i think i am definitely someone that over declares like i never want to lie to you i never want to be dishonest with you guys in all honesty it would be so easy not to declare it and just be like yeah sure you know i bought this with my own money when actually it's like a pr piece and i think one thing that people just don't understand about like this kind of industry is that it happens so often without you even knowing like i am the worst person to watch films with because i am literally screaming at the telly like product placement and they don't have to declare it at all like they literally might at the end of the film be like oh there were product placements included in this video and they don't have to declare each item what was gifted like marvel is one of the most obvious ones for me because all of the black panther kind of like trilogies or you know all the black panther cars are all lexuses all of the shield cars are audis and all of the iron man cars are bmw so clearly they've got deals with each of these car companies that have been like we want you to exclusively use our car for like this section for these like you know individuals this kind of group and you're literally in the film it will like pan across the lexus logo up the car and i'm like that's to me it's so obvious i'm like that's literally product placement and a lot of people might not realize it and they'll just think oh yeah they're just using that car in the film when actually it's been like agreed or you know they've just gifted it to the film and been like can you use our car that would be great um so i think a lot of people just don't understand like quite how the industry works um but i, I mean you guys know i'm always so honest and upfront with you as i said i literally over declare because i just want to make it so clear to you guys like you know what's on pr what i bought myself stuff like that any relationships i have with brands and i honestly do just feel so lucky to have such amazing relationships with brands to be able to like show you these pieces i mean like you know a whole part of my job is to show you new end pieces what's come in and obviously being able to team up with these brands makes it a lot more accessible for me in order to like show you some of the pieces it means the brands love it because i'm like you know highlighting what looks good and especially on like us shorter frames sometimes it could be so easy not to like just to kind of look at the models and assume that won't suit me when actually there's sometimes where i'm like this does suit you other times where i'm like mm, this is too much like i mean i've been so upfront about the trousers i'm gonna go get them tailored the caramel and ones i went and got tailored because they didn't quite fit right in length so anyway that was a bit of a ramble but i just wanted to say i hope you guys always understand how like transparent i am it is something that happens in every industry every product you see in vogue will have been gifted sent on press 
a PR piece or a PR event or will be a sponsorship. Um, but I just always try and want to just want to be as like clear, concise, and transparent with you guys. But I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all these new in pieces. This little river autumn winter haul let me know if you are excited for autumn winter if you got this far in the video leave me the leaf emoji to let me know you're excited for autumn and to let me know you got this far and please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it always really helps me out to know you guys are enjoying the videos subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in the next one bye guys